Hi, Gabe. Uh, I'm Lauren Levy. I'm a reporter with the Northwest Herald, and I am here today to learn how to fish from a professional. I'm Gabriel Powers, uh, called me Gabe for short. Gabe. Uh, restoration ecologist from McHenry County Conservation District. I'm in charge of the Northeast region of McHenry County land management. We're a small organization, so the restoration ecologists have multiple duties. My background in fisheries is the reason that I'm here today with you instead of somebody else. I'm also in charge of all the operations for fish in McHenry County, the stocking, uh, monitoring, and um, take care of questions that come to the district as far as fisheries are concerned. Well, great. Here goes. I like to uh, have a finger on the graphite, you know, because it just, it just gives you more feel. It makes uh, pan fishing a little bit more fun because you're going to feel the pan fish better than if you had a really heavy rod. Watch the bobber. When the bobber goes down, you're going to set the hook. The important part when you're fishing is to make sure that your line is tight so that you can have good hook setting power. The main pan fish you're going to have is primarily going to be bluegill. Okay. There are a few pumpkin seed, both which are sunfish. We have black crappie black crappie um, and that's that's pretty much uh, what you're gonna find out here let me just show you a little tip with the rod you can see how tight the line is right now yeah and then when a fish hits it you have you have more angle to pull if your rods down I mean location is very important when you're fishing obviously you want to fish where the fish are right and then also you want to present them something that they're gonna take you got him. Mm. Ooh, he's, sorry. he's set. You just can just. Oh, he got a. I just got really into it. Come here, come here, come here. Little. Yeah! Oh my god, I caught my All first right. fish! Stop reeling. Okay. <laughs> this is a little bluegill. Oh my goodness. Oh, you're touching it. Oh, oh, it's wiggling in your hand. <laughs> it, it all depends on weather for our ponds. Okay. You know, people come out with their families. But you could see a kid would have a whole lot of fun here because. Right. We can't even keep it away from these little guys. And yeah. Gonna lift the rod up. Yeah. Oh my God, this thing is huge. <laughs> um, I like to have them probably about the size of my hand, so back here before they're a really good meal. Uh, yeah, you can see this is a good specimen. Nice color. Oh yeah, it's beautiful. One, two, three. All right, great cast. Go ahead and reel it all the way in and change that bobber. You can see this is a pencil bobber. Okay. Uh, so that'll stick up in the air. Setting the hook at the right time right. is important. You don't want to set it too early and you don't want to set it too late. But as far as fishing, it's really uh, what you enjoy doing. As you can see, we could, if you got the casting down perfect, you could have a, you know, a little picnic out here, oh, lawn chairs. Yeah. Thanks for coming out today. We had a good time. Caught some bluegills, didn't get to the bass fishing, but... It's a uh, bit more of a challenge. I mean, I practiced, you know, at least I got the experience right. of the casting and learning how to feel for the tug of the fish and to quickly and pull it, it in and... Yeah, set the hook, you got the, the reeling hook. down, right. casting. So the fundamentals are here. You can go out and practice now and... I have my fishing license. That lasts yes. for a year, right? Oh, and I can't wait to continue fishing this summer. Come on, fishy.